Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to upload your music to TuneCore to send it out to the digital stores like iTunes, Spotify, uh, Amazon MP3. So let's go up to the web bar here and let's type in www.tunecore.com Okay, and if you don't have an account yet, you can sign up for one here. Um, they like to connect it through the Facebook so that they can share your music a little bit more easier. But as you can see at the bottom here, it shows you all the digital stores, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon MP3, Google Play. Some of them uh, you might not recognize are more used in uh, different countries, um, like Deezer, I think is a, a Germany-based um, digital store. But this is just awesome, man. It's such a great user interface. I love using these guys and uh, just makes it super simple. So I'm going to go ahead and click log in here. And uh, as you can see here, new store, uh, Guvera, um, they're always adding new digital stores right now. You know, it's kind of like the wild, wild west right now. We don't know who the winner is going to be officially. So there's tons of different uh, stores being added in different countries and making music available for streaming or to purchase. And so I encourage you uh, inside right now, uh, there's an op option where you can click Store Automator to automatically add your music to new stores as they come on. It's only 10 bucks once uh, that you pay and then you're in that forever. It saves you a lot of money. So type in uh, your email password. Let's click Login. So excited, this is like so great. Okay, so here we are. Inside here is your dashboard. You can see below where all the different albums I've released, the different singles, and uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on Music. This is the tab you want, and here's the discography where it can show a list of all my releases. Um, store Manager, where you can add more different stores, you can change different countries, depending if you've signed a deal with a certain uh, label in a certain country. Uh, they would have rights to the digital stores there, so you would have to exclude that. I'll show you that in a minute. We have the option to add a new album, add a new single. Uh, ringtones. I haven't ever released a ringtone. I don't know if it's worth it or not. I've contacted them to see. I don't know any artists that actually sell ringtones. It might be worth it. There might be some money on the table that I'm leaving there. Um, something worth to check out. I haven't looked into it enough yet. Definitely videography. It is expensive to uh, get your music videos uploaded uh, to, to iTunes and these different services. It's like hundreds of dollars. And um, at this point, I just don't think it's worth it. So I haven't uh, gone down that road yet. It's just, it's just kind of a kind of an unknown expensive thing. Hopefully they can figure that out, but you can make money elsewhere with your music videos or live shows. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to add a new album. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through uh, adding my album Fighter. So that's the title of that album, and you put in whatever title yours is. Or if we're adding a single, you would uh, add uh, the name of your single, the name of your song. And then the next is the artist. Who's the main artist on this record? And for me, that is Manifest. Uh, the reason they have that, it, that you can add another main artist, is if you're having a compilation or it's two artists uh, collabing together, kind of like a mashup or something like that. But for the sake of this, this is just me. So Manifest. And then we have Album Language. Uh, English is what we're going to go there. And then, as you know earlier, in the in, during the course, I talked about you know, knowing what your genre is. You know, there's a reason I went through that stuff is because you need to decide what genre of style of music you are. For this record, for me, it is rock. And like I also said earlier, having a secondary genre, maybe you've got a bit of a mix of two styles. You know, maybe you're a mix of rock and blues or rock and, you know, Christian or, you know, maybe you're comedy. That's kind of interesting. Um, but for me, it's a mix. I'm a mix of rock and hip-hop rap. Okay? And so this next section here, digital sales start date. When is this actually going to start selling online and available for people to buy it? Uh, they say at the bottom here, how quickly does music go live in stores? See live item times for iTunes, Spotify, and other stores. So you can click on that, and it'll show you how long it takes. Typically, I've noticed it only takes between 24 and 48 hours, and I've seen it live. You know, the only time it seems to take longer is uh, if... Uh, if, it, if there's a major holiday or something like that going on. So for the sake of it, I am going to put that we're going to release it 
uh, on March 11th. And the reason I chose a Tuesday is because most new music is released Tuesday. They call it New Release Tuesday is when uh, you'll always see new music on there, if you did not know that. And so I'm going to pretend that this record wasn't previously released. You could click yes, and then they'd want to know what the original release date. But I'm going to pretend that that is the release date, March 11th, so you don't have to do anything else. Uh, label name. You can get created. You can get call it whatever you want. I named my record label Manifest Productions. So if you're releasing a record independently, it's like you're actually acting as your own label, and that is awesome. And you can use whatever name you want. You can put your band name or you know your your solo artist name in there with a mixture of something. You know I could have called it Manifest Records or Manifest Entertainment, and uh, we just decided to go with Productions because we felt like we're a production company producing different products and stuff. And then the UPC code. Okay, this is what you would get from your manufacturer who you're going to press CDs with, okay? And you can get a UPC code from them. I think it's like between 5 and 15 bucks. You don't have to have that for this, okay? But if you are releasing this physically, um, I would put the UPC code number in here too. But uh, honestly, most of the time, I always leave it blank. And then depending on where you recorded it, if you recorded it at a bunch of locations, like maybe you recorded part of your record in California or some in Canada or you know, Atlanta, uh, you, I think you can put multiple locations in there. For this record, most of it I recorded in Nashville, Tennessee, so I'm going to put that in there. And then, what are we doing? We're clicking Create My Album. And this brings you to another different page where you they have a little album checklist here where you can go over the little steps and they'll let you know uh, when, uh, when you're ready to actually click Distribute, okay? And so right now, right now we're going to focus on uploading your album artwork. Artwork. So let's click here, and it looks like they have an option where you can create artwork for me. I have never done that. You know, my wife has done all my graphic design for me, so I've been super blessed. If you need to get a designer, you can look on elance.com. You can go to fiverr.com, or you can try these guys out. I've never actually um, asked TuneCore to do my artwork. It says click here to upload your album artwork. Okay, and here it shows you TuneCore's art requirements checklist, okay? So it has to be either a JPEG or a GIF file. It has to be a perfect square, and this is the important part. It has to be 1600 by 1600 pixels. If you don't understand any of this stuff or it sounds like gibberish, your designer will know. You just send them this information, and they will get that, uh, get that design for the proper specs for you. So I already have this file ready, so I'm going to click Browse, and then I'm going to type in Fighter Cover Square. I think that's what I named it. And there it is right there, because it has to be a perfect square. And then click Upload. Uploads pretty quick, and it verifies it. They'll let you know right away if your specs are off or if there's something wrong. I've had that happen a couple times. And I've gone back to my designer to said, hey, there's something wrong here. Could you, could you make sure that it is 1600 by 1600 and it is perfect square JPEG and they resend it to me and uh, then they fix it. So there it is. There's the cover right there. So now we want to go back to that page we were on before so we can finish uh, setting up this album. Click on Album Overview. So here we are back on the main page. And right now it shows you here the, what you need to upload your songs, what kind of um, uh, restrictions and what kind of files that they need. And so it says before you upload, make sure that your files are 16-bit sample size, 44.1 kilohertz. If you don't know what that means, uh, you can always talk to your, your engineer, your producer who's exporting them. But I always just upload standard um, WAV files. Uh, and right here it says stereo WAV files. So I have those all on my computer ready to go. So say I know one of the songs that I want to upload is called Fighter. So I'm going to type that in there. And then the main artist is Manifest. Is there any other artists featured on here? No. The ISRC code, I'm going to go over that in another, another time. That's a detailed thing so that they can track that specific song. Not super important. It's not necessary. Okay. Uh, let's click Save. So there is that song right there. I know I have another song called Human, so I'm going to just type that, and then I'm going to click Save again. Okay, say for the sake of argument, you have a song, uh, I have a song I did with Trevor that was called Skilled. It's not on this record, but I'm just going to type that in here. 
and then the featured artist Trevor of Thousand Foot Crutch. Okay, or it might maybe they they're not in a band, maybe they're just a solo artist, maybe you know uh, B O B. You know, even though he's not on there, just gonna put that in there. Okay, so let's just click save for fun, and you put that in there, and right here, okay. Um, let's just click on I'm done adding songs so say these were in the wrong order okay you can click on reorder songs and you can like no actually human is first you can move that up there or no wait, wait skills a second and you can move those around there and they adjust for you oh, what happened there just want to take a quick refresh okay cool we're back on the page okay so now I'm gonna actually upload my songs so I'm going to click Upload. Let that respond really fast here. Click Upload. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my Documents. I'm going to go to my Music folder where I keep my stuff. And then I should have my Fighter Master Waves. See, my record is Master, and these are the waves that they sent me. So there's the Fighter Master Wave for that song. And now you'll see a little bar and it's uploading, depending on how fast your internet connection is. And so I'm going to click this song. Skills X isn't actually a part of this album, so I'm not going to upload that, but I am going to upload Human. Click that again. And then there's the Human Master. And so let that upload. And so once we're done that, what we're going to do next is we're going to add the stores. Okay, so you can choose what digital stores you want to be a part of and which ones you don't. Okay, they give you a lot of freedom, a lot of flexibility in deciding, you know, which online stores you want your music available for for sale. So that done, finish downloading. And it still says, see, music is not ready because we still got to go through these steps here. And this My Songs uh, will not disappear until I finish uploading other songs. So I'm just going to actually delete Skills because it's not on that record. And to save time, I'm not going to uh, add any more songs. Okay? So there's the two songs. I'm going to click on Add Stores. And see, as I sp spoke about earlier, okay, there's the, the Store Automator. This Check this option to automatically send this release to all new stores we add in the future. Play a flat one-time fee for all future stores and save money. Yes, you will save money. I really recommend you do this. So let's just click that. And then here's a question, okay? Because I have record deals or licensing deals, I want to call them, with different companies around the globe. Like I have a deal with a label in Canada. I have one in the U.S. And so sometimes, if depending on what your restrictions are, um, like if you're an independent artist, you haven't signed with anyone, then you definitely want to click, can this release be sold worldwide? Yes. If you don't, you would say no. Like if you only have um, rights to sell in Canada, then I would say, you can say, look, I can sell my music worldwide, but need to exclude some countries. Okay, or select countries. I can sell my music only in some countries and I need to exclude the rest of the world. So, for instance, I'd say I can only sell my music in Canada, so I'm going to click Start Here, and then you just enter that country. Okay, there's Canada. I can only sell my music in Canada. I can only sell it in the United States. Okay, because maybe, maybe you did a record deal with uh, someone in Europe, and they got the whole world, and in the deal you specified that you need to be able to sell it in the U.S. and Canada. Okay? So I'm just going to click Start Over, click OK, I'm going to X this out, and I'm just going to say this release can be sold worldwide. Okay, so here are all the digital stores available. There's tons of them. Okay. I'm not going to go through every single store. Depending on, some, some artists don't want their music available on Spotify right away because they would rather people pay for their music off the bat, especially when the release w comes out and then maybe a few weeks later, a month or two later, they'll put it on Spotify. So there's a bit of, you know, controversy with that. But uh, I think it's important just to make your music available for everybody. Because sometimes if your music isn't available, you know, some people aren't as uh, cordial and they won't listen to it for free where you get paid, but they'll actually just steal it. So I'd rather make my music available for everyone. So I select all those. 
And then once we've done that, we click Save. Okay, so it says your stores were successfully added. It shows you all the stores it was added to. Here's all my songs. There's not very many on this album. There actually is more, but I just didn't add them all just to save time. And then let's look here. We've got the release date. Make sure that's right. Your label's right. See, they just assigned a UPC code for you. Okay, so that's great. The primary genre is right. Rock, secondary genre, hip-hop. That's good. English. And then right here, we're ready to go. Okay, we're ready to go. So this is what you want to pay attention to. The first year is only 29 bucks. If you're just starting out, you want to see how this is going. You know, I just go, you know, one year. If you want to save a little bit of money, you can go two years because if you look here, the following years are about 49.99, 50 bucks a year after that. To be honest, I always just um, renew every year. We've got the store automator ready to go. Let's click add to cart. All right, let's go to checkout. And here we go, man. Um, sometimes if you have a promo code, you can add that. But look, 30 bucks for to add it, $10 for the store automator. We're getting our store or our music distributed worldwide online for 40 bucks. That is awesome, man. I just think technology, the walls have come down. You have no idea how far we've come, you know, to be able to make our music available. Um, after this, you just click on the proceed to checkout. You have a credit card or PayPal. And uh, what happens is, is money starts just coming in here. See where the balance is, is zero right now? Um, your money can come in here, and then you can have, the, have them either send you a check. You can have them just, uh, deposit into your PayPal account or right into your bank account. And you can set that up in the preferences. But hey, I hope that totally helped you out. I'm really excited for you guys. Keep making music. Uh, put it out there for sale. Change people's lives. I believe in you guys. I'm super stoked, and I hope this video helped you out. Thanks a lot.